Morning, Nora. Uh. Hello. Mm. Uh. Hi. <laughs> uh. Mommy and Tyler just left. Uh. Mommy and Tyler just left. Yeah. Tyler had a um an appointment, so they've just gone. All the kids are at school. Andrew and Stephen come home today. Lots happening. Who's in the hallway? Let's have a look who's in the hallway. What are you doing, Zoe? You got your baby there? You got your baby there? <laughs> Hey, Rolly, Rolly. What are you doing? Are you watching TV? Yeah. Can I stand here? No. Why not? Because you're in the way. I'm in the way. Ah. You want me to put Incredibles on? Yeah. Oh, okay. We've got to pick up these train tracks. Put them away. Thank you. Good boy, Joel. Well done. Is your baby sleeping, Zoe? Yeah. Do you want to see the baby, Nona? I don't eat the Is the baby sleeping? Is that baby sleeping? Comfy there, Joel. You know you normally would sit on the seat, not on the table. Don't take her. She's. Uh, it's alright, you can keep it. Oh, it's nearly lunchtime. It's quarter past eleven. Nearly lunchtime. What are we going to have for lunch? Toast with cheese. Toast with cheese? Yeah. You don't want grilled cheese? Yeah. You want grilled cheese? Yeah. Hot. Do you want grilled cheese? Yeah. yeah. I really like grilled cheese. You do like grilled cheese? Sauce. With sauce? I want sauce too. Alrighty, eh? Yeah. More sauce. Okay. We're off to get a lung function test. Aren't we, Ty? Mm, yeah. <laughs> no idea where we're going. We're at um, Monash Children's. It's massive. We'll find it. We have eight minutes, Tyler. Do you think we can find it? Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh well, we'll see how we go. Are you guys waiting for something? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Uh, hey. What is it? Hey. Let us. Is it lunchtime? Yeah. It's Uncle time for lunch. Uncle mm -hmm. Uncle 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 we're going to have some lunch. And then, and then can go and Nora's and waiting patiently. And then can yes. Zoe for sleep. Oh, well, I guess so. Zoe will probably go to sleep. And so will Nora. Then, How are we going to get Nora and Zoe to go to sleep in the same room? And then, and then can I, and then can I play yeah. the baseball? <gasps> Maybe we could read a book. No. Or play a game. Come on, let's get lunch done. Nora's got hers. Yes, me then it's mine. That's Nora's. Then it's mine. Then it's yours. Then the big boy. And you won. I'm a big boy. Me bring it to me. Yeah, girl. Yes, you can like this bit. Oh, cheese is coming. Nearly done. That big? Yeah. 
Got your sauce. And then the and all the fun sleep, and then I can play some games. It's hot. Well, make sure you blow. You're welcome. Better get Jolly a drink. Here you are, Joe. You're welcome. You back, Tyler? <laughs> what have you got for lunch? <laughs> you look like you're enjoying that. We had our sandwiches. You're pretty lucky. Did you do all right? Good job. High five. <laughs> Are you the beneficiary of some nuggets? <laughs> Cheeky monster. Ready to go get the kids from school? <laughs> well, you can do it quickly. <laughs> Zoe? Zoe? Who's coming home today? Andrew. Andrew's coming home today. And Stephen. And Stephen. So Eric has taken all the kids to get them from the other kids from school. Um, we spent majority of the day at the hospital. We had to go and get a whole bunch of other tests done because his lung capacity came back at only half lung capacity. Um, so we went and got an x-ray and a bunch of other tests, but they all came back clear. So he has to be tested for um, cystic fibrosis, which I don't actually think they have, but it's a precaution at this age um so he has that test in a couple of weeks and then we're going to return to that doctor in two weeks after that which is actually the day i'm booked in to have surgery in a completely opposite side of melbourne so i have no idea how we're going to do that but um we might have to move one of them but um yeah we'll see how that is i've just run around and redid all the girls bedding which was a lot harder than i thought um, these bunk beds are a lot lower, so you could really crouch down in there. Um, anyone has any ideas? They're like really low. I know the other ones I could pretty much just stand under. But anyway, now I know how Eric feels when he makes the bed. Um, so I've quickly made them up. We're still working on the room. A few pieces of furniture did not fit where we wanted them to fit. So we're now trying to work out, because we pretty much had a plan. We knew what we were buying before we just, like started changing it over and now because pieces of furniture aren't fitting where they should fit now other things aren't fitting so we're just trying to work it out so it might take a few more weeks for us to do a bit more research because um, we seem to not be able to fit four of those cabinets in is which what we really wanted to do so the girls would always have like this cabinet which would have clothes and then they're like special stuff at the top because the boys have similar system but they just have like these type of drawers and then we've attached one of those squarey bookcases one of those bookcases on the top so that's what they have but this seemed a lot safer so anyway but these drawers are great these are stuva drawers um so and they're really deep so they fit their pants and their jackets in there i don't know what anyone else is like but once you put sort of like two jumpers in these style of drawers the drawers full so anyway so i like those drawers better um they are deeper and and they are they are deeper both ways so deeper this way but they are deeper that way too so anyway but we can't fit to at the end here what we wanted so we've actually found um a thing at ikea my arm's going the right way so we're going to get rid of this ladder which is caitlin's and we're going to get a step sort of um like a storage thing it's supposed to be in a playroom or a kid's room that is goes with this troffus it's the troffus ones if anyone knows ikea furniture so we're going to get that there as um her ladder to replace the ladder so it has storage as well to fit all these barbies in that which are just like here 
and Sylvanian family and that sort of thing. Um, and then we're going to move that to the pink thing to there, um, which works better. And then hopefully fit another one of them next to it for more, because um, all the hand-me-downs are in this room. So in this room, my hand's not moving the right way. <laughs> So in this room, there's a walk-in robe. So this is like our storage. So this is Zoe's thing, whereas this fits. So we just put it there because it's you can't get them anymore and um, it wasn't cheap. So um, we actually got it pretty cheap for what it is. So these are Zoe's three drawers at the top. Linen in the bottom for the cot. Duplo, girl Duplo is in the bottom one. And then these three ones... I want to make for hand-me-down clothes and stuff like that um, and then maybe pop a box up the top or Caitlin's um, I actually don't think that'll fit but Caitlin's Sylvanian house thing up there so up the top has all our like ski gear and stuff and hand-me-down clothes suitcases camping stuff helmets all that sort of that's a car seat in there helmet that's Zoe's helmet. And then, yes, yeah, suitcases and stuff. So they're all in there out of the way. But it's kind of um, just chucked up there. So we need to um, figure out how to get. So we've got boxes here that need homes. And then it's like a massive pile in our lounge room. We'll go in. And then we need to find home for all that, which is in between the two girls. Well, the three girls, the little girls, sizing. We, yeah, we don't generally keep hand-me-downs between Caitlin and uh, Bella, even though they are getting closer in size. So Bella's nearly in a seven in most things, and Caitlin's in a 14. So they're not actually that far now. So, But when Bella was first born, it was just... We'd already pretty much got rid of all her baby stuff and all that. We only had stuff that we really, really liked. Um... Yeah, so, um, so that's that, um, we've still got to fit in, and then we've got to fit all their, like, girly stuff, so the little cradle and the little pusher things in there, but I think they'll have to stay in here up against this once I put the toys actually in the tubs and in the, um, bookcase again. Another thing I'm working on at the moment is making this, oop, hang on, where's my finger? this into a this is hilarious um this <laughs> into a lego station so i've started getting the little boxes to put the like blue lego green lego red lego that sort of thing doors whatever so that which has pretty much had nothing in it for a whole year um people dump their crap on it um there's bags down there for shopping um, yeah, so we're going to make that into a Lego sort of station to get the Lego out of the split Lego. So once they've sort of smashed it way too much, then it goes in there. But the books will remain in our room. There's like a whole, whole library of um, Lego um, pamphlet-y things, instruction manuals, so they can grab this manual and then go and find the pieces a lot easier. Whereas at the moment it's in one massive tub underneath Stephen's bed, which is so daunting for anyone to find Lego. So we have moved that. Well, we're going to attempt that um, and see if that helps. So that is an update on the girls' room. Um, so it will take a little bit longer because I want to see... I'm still trying to figure it out. So, um, yeah, and I want it to be good. And they've got stuff. So I've got stuff for Caitlin to put on the wall. like a, um, And I've got stuff for the boys as well to um, put all their school stuff, like their homework folder and their readers, their library books, because we keep losing them and I'm sick of trying to search the house for them. So um, we're going to get them all a little cabinet or shelf um, next to their bed so that'll be done over the next few months probably are we at school pickup yeah. are we picking everybody up today harry. yeah harry first and then, and then bella no and then we got, we to go in you want a bit of a fun playground yeah. oh okay 
Hey, baby. We're going to go get Harry. Zoe, did you give Andrew cuddles? I need a Go have a look. He's in the bathroom. There's Andrew. <laughs> nah, he's not a snack. Not interested in you. Did you go up on the stage with your hat though? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Not when we're holding it. Yeah. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> Did you have fun? I didn't get very much sleep. I have two cakes. I got Maltesers, apparently. I still have cakes in my lunch. Oh, okay. I'll close the door. Go look in your room. Do you like your new bed cover? Yeah. <laughs> Look, Zoe has one like you. <laughs> yeah, I got one for Nora when she goes in the bed. Is it the same as me and Yep. I like it. <laughs> Go look at your bed. No, in your so in your room. Your bed. In both so look. She has the same as mine now. Zoe. Zoe, look at mine too. <laughs> <laughs> she likes her. Wow. Oh, oh no, they're no. different. No. They are different. They're slightly different. They're like look the same but more less teddies. Less teddies. More teddies. Do you like it, Zoe? Got a big girl blanket. What the dirt pillow? I have dirt pillows. I mean, now I have gray pillows, Mom. Look. You do. Zoe now has. She has two because she had none before. Oh, now she has. She has a big girl. She has a big girl blanket now and a big girl pillow. Baby. And all your babies. <laughs> all your Look at all your babies. <laughs> They're all lined oh up. Oh my gosh. Look at all mine. One of my minis is like flop. She has. <laughs> you flopped her off when. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to go have a snack? Yes. How's dinner, guys? We got a got a full house again. Welcome back, Andrew and Stephen. Was it nice and quiet without them, Caitlin? I wanted to stay. You wanted to stay in Canberra? Okay, off you go then. <laughs> what have you got there? You weren't a fan of the chili con carne tonight. Where are you going, Harry? Uh, playing. <laughs> playing? Did you have a nice day at school today, Bella? What did you have today? Did you have anything special? What? Crazy hat day. Crazy hat day? The parade? Yes. How was the parade? Did you all go around in your crazy hats? No, we just went on stage. Oh, you went on stage. <coughs> Cool. So me and Eric had um, Nando's for dinner. I have to think about that. Um, all the kids are in bed. It's actually the next day. So they definitely went to bed and woke back up. But um, yeah, it was a crazy night. Um, we had to do all the unpacking of two going to camp and um, other things that we had on. And yeah, it was just crazy we actually tried to order nando's through uber eats and it wouldn't work so we got really cranky and then had to drive there and yeah didn't feel like it so yeah anyway so we're all done for today um 
thanks for watching guys like subscribe and comment below bye